Here we go. We got the go home show for AEW all out. All right. So far, they have not sold me this show at all after what happened last week. Worst Dynamite ever last week. But of course, we're not going to miss it. We're going to do some reactions. And we got John freaking Moxley coming out. I wonder what's going to happen now that CM Punk got squashed. Because I will tell you right now, I do not like what they did earlier on Twitter announcing the Casino Battle Royal ladder match thing. I was actually not happy at all about that whole Casino Battle Royal thing for All Out. I feel like it was lazy booking. They should have definitely had qualifying matches. This entire card, it feels like for the most part, is being rushed, and I don't like that. I don't like that, especially with last week's thing. There's no way CM Punk's not at All Out. It wouldn't make any sense. Because this is the thing that AEW fans call WWE out on, is the last minute freaking matches. They always do it, but AEW lately, they've been doing it. And I'm an AEW fan. I like AEW product more than WWE. But I'm going to call the bullshit on both sides. I will say right now, Mox is friggin' on his A game right now. Ugh. I got my Blackpool Combat Club shirt on, hoping for this AEW show to actually be good this week. But I feel like once they get out of like All Out and they like go back to Dynamite and they don't focus on New Japan and all these Forbidden Door things, AEW will be very good again. They gotta focus on AEW. Let's get Ring of Honor a TV deal and let's focus on AEW. Let's focus on full gear after all out. I am sorry, I am just ranting while he comes out. <laughs> because I'm still pretty upset about last week. But I can't miss an episode of Dynamite. There was no reactions on Monday either for Raw because I did not watch it. And I heard it was mad. But maybe I'm wrong, so let me know. Here we go, Mox got the mic. Alright, let's see what he's going to say. Like, the main event was supposed to be Mox and Punk for All Out. And now, we're literally a few days away from their biggest pay-per-view. There's no way Mox doesn't defend the title against Punk. If he doesn't go against Punk, it doesn't make any sense whatsoever. And we're in Chicago, so come on, CM Punk's definitely home. He's here. Chicago! Still mobbing him up off the mat in Cleveland. <laughs> oh, friggin' box. You gotta love it. But hey, you wanna talk about it? Let's talk about it. Oh, I was heard CM Punk described years ago as the modern 60 minute man. Well, what a load of crap that turned out to be, huh? I mean. I had 57 minutes left in me last week, Punk. Did you? I don't think so. See? When guys get in the ring with me, the undisputed AEW World Champion, the heart and soul of AEW, we find out what they're really made of. I test them. I push them. And last week we learned exactly what CM Punk is made of. At the moment where he hit me as hard as he could, he gave me his best shots and he realized I didn't care. 
And he knew I was just going to keep coming forward and keep coming forward all night. At that exact moment, he started looking for a way out. Here's the thing, I still, regardless, I don't like the way they booked last week's show. I really don't like it. He's folded. And he curled up into a little ball to die. And he folded. I like it. Mox is trying to get some heat in Chicago. I do like it, but I feel like the crowd's like very 50-50 with Punk and Mox right now. Well, maybe CM Punk is more 75%, Mox is 25%. Never fold. Look, you have no idea how genuinely sorry I am that CM Punk just didn't turn out to be what you wanted him to be. He didn't turn out to be what any of us wanted him to be when we welcomed him back in this business, gave him a second chance in the greatest sport in the world. It just didn't work out. Damn, Mox. I'm sorry for that. I know he's your boy. I know he's from Chicago and you love him. I have zero sympathy for CM Punk. And that is because CM Punk, fragile ego, fragile body, weak spirit. There's no way it's not Punk versus Box at all out. Dude, sorry, it is what it is. And we move on. I have here. They still should have waited. An open contract for a title match at all out this Sunday. Oh. It's already signed, and I'm just going to leave it right here. Because when I say anybody, anytime, any place, I mean it. So we're going to have like all the wrestlers come out and try to get the contract. So who knows who's going to sign that contract? Who knows who I'm going to face it all out? Maybe it's somebody at AW. Maybe it's somewhere from somebody, somebody from somewhere else. Maybe it's somebody from New Japan here in Chicago again. I run that show too. Hey Rocky, you got anybody else left? Rock, let me know. Whoever it is that signs that contract, whoever wants to find out exactly what they're made of, just remember this before you step into the ring with John Marsley. If there's any other pay-per-view, I'd be okay with this booking, but this I is all out. On you. I can outspring you. I can outfight you. I can outwrestle you. And whoever you are. I all out is supposed to be AEW's WrestleMania. Fewer, you know what, than you do. I am not just the undisputed AEW world champion. I am the fire breathing, blood spitting, living embodiment of the sport of professional wrestling. I am indomitable will personified. I will never take away John Moxley's like credibility on the mic. He is phenomenal. And in the ring. Maybe hazardous to your health. Whoever you are, you've been warned. All right, let's see who's going to come out and get that contract. They got it in the middle of the ring. I wonder if they're just going to keep it out there all night in the ring. <laughs> But they wouldn't have had to do this booking if they just waited for Punk and Mox at all out. It should have been a big match feel. But after what happened last week, like I really don't see the big the big field anymore. I'm sure at all out if they wrestle, it'll be competitive. But fuck. Hey, unless MJF comes out and grabs that contract, I would love that. I would love that. And Excalibur, you need to take the mask off. Wait. Oh. 
Who the, who the hell is Ace Steel? That's what I want to know. Let me know in the comment section below who Ace Steel is because there's something like I'm not really understanding here fully. Is he like Colt Cabana's replacement or something? I don't, I don't know. Let me.